when they go sleep with a guy, it's because fate and destiny and karma. No. And he was a Sagittarius. No. They don't understand. <laughs> he rented the car, set up the reservation. Mm -hmm. The chef knew his name. It was two minutes away from his apartment. His apartment smelled like lavender. Mm -hmm. It was cleaned earlier that day. There were candles. The bed was like from her standpoint, it up. just happened and they just wow. and it was supposed to happen. Now, were you always able to pull girls? Because obviously you were in the military for years. I assume you're not getting laid in the military. No, no, that no. happens a lot in the military. No, no, it wasn't. It was, when I lived in really? Atlanta, it wasn't a problem. Yeah, yeah, when I lived in Atlanta, it was great. It wasn't It wasn't that uh, that big of an issue. The, the, the thing for me is, I would tell you in my early 20s, no. I will tell you working at a strip club um, from the age of 22 to 26, mm -hmm. um, there are these really uncomfortable truths about the dynamics between men and women mm -hmm. that you sometimes don't learn until a girl breaks up with you or cheats on you. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to learn it that way. I just watched the most, some of the most incredible women and some of the most destructive, toxic women I've ever seen in my entire life mm -hmm. destroy their lives and their families' lives because of drugs or some kind of like mental disorder. I like, mm. I got to see, it's almost like learning about war from going to West Point versus learning about war from going to Da Nang during Vietnam. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one of them, like it was such real life experience okay. watching that, that a lot of the disillusionment that happens for men, I think in the, they, they call the term red pill rage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that happened to me in my early 20s, before Rollo had ever even written the rational mail, I'd already gone through that. Uh, so for me, that lack of disillusionment and then later on kind of seeing the difference between what guys online were saying that they did were, just so you know like the majority of guys in pickup are lying they, they're not good with women they're mm. some of the worst guys i've ever seen with women in my <laughs> life are huge pickup coaches um wow. they're really bad so they'll show you if they're good you'll see it one right. of the reasons why pickup artists generally don't do a lot of stuff on social media is because they'd have to expose their lives and they're not very good with women so mm -hmm. what'll happen is you'll see um what I noticed was the pickup artists were saying this, and then I would look at the, the fucking club promoter who like had a girlfriend and they were having with six other girls while he was showing up to the club with 60 girls. And I was like, that guy, I'm gonna listen to that guy. I'm not gonna listen to the pickup artist. I'm gonna listen to that guy, what that guy says. Yeah. And I saw that the two things were different. Pickup artists were like, you can never be friends with women. Club promoters were like, all my female, all my friends are females, yes. right? Does that make sense? The uh, pickup artists like, you can never buy a girl a drink. Club promoters like, no, I get comp tables. All girls get drinks it's a fucking party every night all the time does that make sense yeah and so I, I started to see that this is where the difference was and so from paying attention to that and then also understanding like the d dynamics between men and women again i not to be obviously not every woman is like a woman in a strip club but like seeing the worst of it up front it made it very easy for mm -hmm. me to be like my boundaries were very clear mm -hmm. uh very early on mm -hmm. uh so, but no definitely not i mean i I'd say in my early 20s and the first one I got in the military, I did not have a ton of successful women. I, I definitely say that happened when I moved to Vegas. Yeah, I think a lot of men um, overthink when it comes to yeah. the interaction with women. And it's really like they want the interaction. Mm. Mm. Your approach just can't be weird. Yeah, so so yeah. it's funny. The, you guys see Elon Musk, he put out the uh, study that shows if you have an IQ over 130, you have a higher chance of being a virgin than if you have an IQ <laughs> under 80. <laughs> really? Because guys under with an IQ under 80, they just go, yeah, hot girl, go fuck. gym time, <laughs> lift, lift weights, get big. Hi, I'm Brock. That's what guy under 80 does. Yeah. Guy under 80 doesn't look in the mirror and be like, man, I have an existential crisis. And I, <laughs> right. and I, I just wonder what the world thinks about me. And if I post this on my social media, will my mom care? Mm. The guy under uh, with an IQ under 80 does not have these issues. Right. The guy with an IQ under 80 is just like, mm. my friend took some steroids, so I'm going to take and steroids mm -hmm. i'm gonna get big and i'm just gonna go up to girls and be like sup sup <laughs> no sup. Like, people with iqs under 80 mm -hmm. tend to have like super high confidence mm -hmm. even yeah. when they don't need to have high confidence mm -hmm. people with iqs over 130 they're literally like so neurotic like mm -hmm. they're so hard some of the highest iq clients that i have mm -hmm. it's impossible to get them to take action because they don't listen to what i'm saying they, they legitimately think that they can intellectualize their way through any problem <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's a and it ends up being a disaster mm -hmm. so yeah i mean that was one of the things is that like i understood that just because i, I studied uh, astronomy in, in college just because i can can explain quantum mechanics to someone doesn't mean I should, yeah, right? Yeah. Just because like, there's often times like the conversation we were just having about the 26 to one ROI, like I would love to meet a girl who's stunning. Now I have my girlfriend and she does definitely care, mm -hmm. but I would love to have before met a girl who was like super interested in that. I never meet women that are interested in that. Mm -hmm. I meet women who are interested in the fact that I make money, mm -hmm. but they're not interested in the fact is like, here's how our affiliate uh, uh, yeah. system works. And they yeah, don't later understand on, it. It, it, dude, I'm going yeah. next week with Dan Fleischman, Wes Watson, Brad Lee, 
hardcore closer and a bunch of other people to Dallas. And they're going to do a speech in Dallas. And I'm like telling my girlfriend, I'm like, dude, Wes Watson's going to be there. <laughs> can do that's awesome as Wes Watson and Bradley are gonna be there and she just doesn't care yeah. like in her mind she doesn't understand but like because for because for a, for men who know you know being around those men will make you millions mm -hmm. but for women they just see the millions yeah they don't understand it's like the 30 books that I read in all <laughs> right. these situations that right. went I mean, obviously some women do but most women that I talk to it's like they just see the bag, the watch, the car at the end, mm. at the finish line, but they don't understand. It's like, you know, it's just one of these weird things where like, I had a discussion with my girlfriend the other day. I was like, I wanted her to meet, I was at a huge guest on. Mm -hmm. I don't even say who it was, huge guest. And I wanted her to come meet the guest. And I was like, trying to, she was like, I don't understand why you want me to meet the guest. I just want to go like lay out by the pool. And I was like, because you're part of my company. And like, I want this person to see that I have some relevancy in this arena. Mm. And she didn't grasp it at first. And then I was trying to explain to her, I was like, no, we make money together. Mm. So I need her, this person to see all of the parts of my life. Right. And a lot of times women just don't grasp that, that concept is mm -hmm. like, they just see, no, there's just money. They just see that there is money and that money's being made, but like, they don't understand that like, uh, it's, it's an, I'm getting way off topic here. If you teach male self-improvement, mm -hmm. do you guys know most women don't think that's real, really? especially. Yeah, Wait, they don't think really, male. It's really funny. Wait, yeah, yeah. They don't listen. think male improvement. Right? Yes. So they think if you were to if you were to really like get in and listen to a group of like really hot girls talk, mm -hmm. and they were like, how how does a guy get your attention or hook up with you? It's like just be tall and hot with a huge, <laughs> and just uh, have tons of money, and then you'll get me. That's what they think. And so if they if you, they did this experiment where they give women these uh, Tinder profiles of average looking men and they're like, okay, pick up women doing this. And they're disastrous. The women have no idea what they're doing mm -hmm. because they don't have to work to get people to right swipe. Absolutely. Yeah. And so so uh, this funny thing happens where I would talk to these girls and I would explain to them. I was like, yeah, look, I have one client. He's five foot one. And I was explaining to my girlfriend, like that dude gets laid all the time. Wow. One, of my, one of my coaches. He's like constantly hooking up with hot chicks. And she's like, no, that's not possible. In her mind, male self-improvement isn't real. Only hot guys get hot girls. In women, because that's the because they're hot girls. That's the way they see the world. Only rich guys get hot girls. Mm. Male self-improvement is literally, I'm confident enough and charismatic enough to overcome that looks money status barrier mm. in order for me to actually get the job of my dreams or to get hot girls also. Women don't think that's real. Some women, I mean, obviously there's exceptions. Most women legitimately think it's only like when they go sleep with a guy, it's because fate and destiny and karma no. and her, he was a Sagittarius. No. They don't understand. <laughs> he rented the car, set up the reservation. Mm -hmm. The chef knew his name. It was two minutes away from his apartment. His apartment smelled like lavender. Mm -hmm. It was cleaned earlier that day. There were candles. The bed was like from her standpoint, it up. just happened and they just wow. and it was supposed to happen. From his standpoint, he did all this work. It's really funny. If you ever have a girlfriend who's bisexual and you guys start trying to have threesomes, you'll notice from her standpoint, she thinks the threesomes just happen. But like after a while, she comes to the realization. She's like, oh, we really have to like set up a situation, like almost like a slot, like a set of circumstances that leads to another girl coming back to our place. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny to watch the realization mm -hmm. because from their standpoint, every time they've had it was organic mm -hmm. but from we're we're all men here we all know it's not organic we have to work right. in order to create a reality right. to where women would even consider having sex with us right. but from their standpoint it doesn't work like that so because in their from their standpoint it just happens male self-improvement isn't real the idea of teaching a man to be better with women women are like oh that's awesome you make all that money it's fooling those guys <laughs> like that ha 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 that's yeah, i hear women say this to me all thing. the time they legitimately don't think this is a real thing mm -hmm. wow they think men getting rich is real yeah. they do think that is real mm -hmm. but they don't grasp it's like how did you get rich they just think that like there was a, some secret pile of money we stole they don't understand how to win friends and influence people the one thing by Gary Keller, the E-Myth Revisited. Mm -hmm. They don't understand, hustle harder. Mm -hmm. They don't understand these, like we read all these books. We read, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, seven but Habits of Highly Effective People. They don't grasp that concept. They just legitimately think, poof, the money mm -hmm. just like ex it, it showed up and then that's how it worked. And so when I explained to these mm -hmm. girls, I'm like, we can actually work on comedy with guys that actually make women and men trust them more we can work on things like the connector, suggester, and content creator, mm -hmm. which is value arbitrage, which causes their network to increase. But like from the outside looking in, like um, it, 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 they just look at it like, no, I just own the hot guy. Mm -hmm. right. I Brock 
fucking phone cannon party at in South Padre Island because he was hot and I felt like doing it. Mm. They don't see the work that goes into all these things. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's really interesting to me. Like if you guys ever do this, have a super hot girl on here and then talk to her like, what can a guy do to improve to get your, and she's gonna say things like, oh, just imp improve your confidence and be yourself. We all know that's other nonsense right be yourself <laughs> right. it's so stupid right. that, guys this you be yourself if, that's you, so if, stupid. if you sit at home <laughs> and you sit on your mom's basement getting fat playing minecraft mm -hmm. that and you you think that's to be yourself you think that being yourself is going to get you women mm -hmm. you are deluding yourself mm -hmm. you are going if d be yourself is never go to the gym stop being yourself if being yourself is having a victim mentality, stop being yourself. Mm -hmm. Be the most improved version, most attractive version of yourself that you can mm -hmm. possibly be at any time. Mm -hmm. This idea of be yourself is nonsense. Right. 